Hello everyone and I would like to show you one more very sweet and a musty chess game by Paul Morphy against his close friend Charles Marion. Uh, this chess game was played in 1869 in New Orleans and let's see what happened in this chess game. Paul Morphy starts the game with f4 and this was interesting because 99% of the time Morphy starts his chess games with one e4. This time we see one f4. Uh, this is also the bird's opening, but technically this is not bird's opening because Morphy surrendered his knight. He doesn't have his knight on b1. And this is a knight host chess game. So we have e6, knight to f3, f5, e3, and developing the pieces. Black is going to fianchetto his bishop on b7. So is Morphy on b2, h3, h6, king to h2. Now Morphy's idea is simple, he wants to bring the rook on g1, push the g-pawn and he is going to try to open the g-file. So this is what we see. Morphy pushed the pawn and then h takes on g4 after developing the queen and pinning the f-pawn. Morphy pushed the g-pawn and he, he is basically going to open the g-file, knight takes on g5. And Marion tried knight to d4. Uh, this is what he is trying against Paul Morphy, but we have defending the bishop, bishop to d3. If capturing the knight, actually this was a logical idea by Morion. After capturing, queen takes on f4, what else? Moving the king, and then bishop to d6. Both of the bishops is aiming the king, and the knight is also covering the escape square. Uh, so the queen and the bishop battery is aiming on h2, the light square bishop is covering uh, on g2 and h1. So surviving this is not easy, but Morphy saw all this. This is why he played bishop to d3. And both of the bishops of Paul Morphy is aiming the king. The knight is targeting the holes in black's camp. Uh, the knight is also aiming the king and the rook is showing teeth to the king. So all of the, po all of the pieces of Paul Morphy is active and he perfectly mobilized his army. We have knight to f5. And Morphy's plan was again very simple. So he wanted to bring his queen on the h pile and attack the king. So this is what he did. So bringing the queen to h3 and then the queen is on the h pile. Now Morphy is threatening to capture the knight and then visiting the king on h7. So Rook to f7, uh, Morphy simply captured the rook. Actually, there is no sensible defense in this position. So Paul Morphy is threatening to take the knight and then queen to h7. So rook to f7, knight takes on f7, simply capturing the rook. King takes on f7 and then bishop takes on f5. He takes on f5, Paul Morphy is simplifying the game and then queen to h7. King to e6 and then rook takes on g6. Did you see the threat? Well, Morion played queen to d8, defending. The bishop is pinned. In this position, if some random move, just to show off the threat, then capturing the bishop with the rook. After king takes on f6, rook to g1, and how to defend rook to g6, checkmate. So actually in this position there is no sensible defense and black is losing. So rook takes on g6, queen to d8, defending and doubling to rooks. We have king to d6 because in this position if a, some random move then rook takes on f6 and if king takes on f6 then rook to g6 is getting checkmated. And after rook takes on f6, if queen takes on f6, then rook to g6 is pinning and winning. Black is losing. So king to d6 and Morphy simply captured the bishop and if queen takes rook, then pinning and winning. Rook to g6, so king to c7. And all of a sudden, Paul Morphy gets the initiative once again, as always. He, he has the exchange and also he is a pawn up. So this position is almost resignable for Marion. We have rook to f7 aiming the king. 
So in this position Morphe is threatening to capture the pawn if queen takes on d7, rook up, pinning and winning. So bishop to c6, doubling to rooks and black can't back 8 uh, as you can see with the bishop or black can't even move the queen. So we have queen to e8 and Morphe simply captured one more pawn and after this move black resigned. This position is unplayable. Morphe has the exchange and he's also two pawns up. So interesting chess game by Paul Morphy. In this position, the more logical continuation would be queen to h8, but then simply king to g3, exchanging and white has the exchange, A plus white has one extra pawn and this f pawn is going to fall. So if defending with the bishop, then the d pawn is going to fall. So this is why in this position we see some desperate moves by Morion and after queen takes on f5, he resigned. Another beautiful chess game by Paul Morphy. So in this position white has, again like I said, white has two extra pawns plus the exchange. White can even check the king and simplify the chess game and convert to a winning endgame. So this was also one of the last recorded chess games of Paul Morphy. And Paul Morphy's uh, his chess games with Morian from 1866 and in 1869, in 1869, which was recorded, but uh, all these chess games was recorded by his close friend, his also opponent Charles Morian himself. And later, after Morphy's passing, his death in 1884, he published all these chess games in new in newspapers. So not all of them, I believe, but some of them. And this chess game was also published in newspapers for the tribute of Paul Morphy in 1884. So basically after uh, his death in 1884, Paul Morphy again became popular. So, and one of the chess masters at the time from the late 19th century, Edward Napier, who was also an important chess master from 1900s from the from the early 20th century made a comment about this chess game so he said with this game Morphy almost writes a textbook a textbook on the uncommon art of giving substantial odds it is not won with violence so this was his quote the American chess master Edward Napier who won he won a match against Frank James Marshall uh, with scoring eight points against two points uh, so he was an important chess master and basically this chess game also uh, deeply affected him with his comment as you can see uh, he, sh he shows that he admires Paul Morphy and his chess games uh, so this was his comment about this chess game okay so what do you think about this chess game I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time so Stay safe, take care and bye bye.